She's the youngest family member impacted by the murder that rocked a community. Today, the little sister of murder victim Stephanie Crow wiped away tears as she testified in the second trial of the man accused of killing her sister. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live downtown with the emotional testimony from the then 10 year old girl and what the defense hopes to prove. Steve. Steve, the police, as you remember, first focused on the uh, older brother of the victim and some classmates as plotting a revenge type killing. Those charges that were dropped, Richard Tewitt prosecuted and convicted, and now his attorney trying to put those boys back into the crosshairs. This is a picture of the three Crow children shortly before Stephanie's murder. Stephanie, Michael, and Shannon. Shannon was 10 when Stephanie was stabbed to death. Her face ordered hidden now as she recalled that tragic morning in 1998. A lot of yelling. And who was yelling? Uh, mostly my dad. And what did that yelling sound like? Um, it was, I guess, scared. Um, I remember him saying, God, no. Stephen Crow then made his chilling call in 911. <laughs> It is the second manslaughter trial for Richard Tewitt, a transient seen in the neighborhood that night and convicted after a spot of Stephanie's blood was discovered on his shirt. The new trial was ordered because the appellate court ruled a witness was not allowed to be properly questioned. Defense attorney Brad Patton grilled Shannon about inconsistencies in her statements to police early in the investigation and later. I guess I was sorry. I guess I was just really confused, scared. Did you feel any sense of pressure to answer questions to try and help the police? Correction meeting? A world the answer. Yes, I mean, I guess so. I just wanted to help. Patton will try to convince the jury that Stephanie's brother Michael and two friends killed her. The motive, jealousy. Now those boys were declared factually innocent and the families awarded a million dollar settlement uh, for uh, wrongful prosecution. Now all the evidence again being presented here at court and Michael himself expected to testify probably next week. When he's on the witness stand, we will be here as well. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.